doubling up. Beautiful. I thought it was better. If you guys need a hand or anything like that, or you're not sure, just let us know, guys. It does take a bit getting used to, but as a general rule, if you think you've got a fish, you've probably got a fish. So, nice goldie or sharpie. Nice goldie. A little one. A little one to start with. That's nice. Beautiful, mate. Nice. So yeah, with the bites, guys, all you all you might be feeling for is just a little tap tap. Oh, tap, tiny, okay. Tiny little tap 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 like that. So, yep. So yeah, worth worth checking your bait every now and then as well, guys. Nice goldie. Oh, you're just underneath. Beautiful. Beautiful. Go band. Thing. What have we got? Another goldie. Another goldie. Nice eating size these are. Oh yeah. Little thing. Alright guys, back out here. Um I'd planned to make a point of filming today because I thought it was going to be a pretty hard day. Um, did a shallow day yesterday and it was really hard work. Got the fish but it was had to really work for them so we've come deeper today. First time this year we've done the deeper stuff um, and I thought it was going to be hard work but the first spot seems to be going pretty well so see how it goes. Here she comes. Beautiful. Yep, stop there. Nice gold band mate. Goldband snapper, very nice. Beautiful. A rosy. This is what I was expecting here. So a rosy jobfish. Yep. That's why they're hungry, because there's bait around and they're feeding. So beautiful. These are my favourite fish, these. So. No, you're right there, just a nice fish, mate. That's all it is. <laughs> well, that's pretty damn good. Happy with that. Um, there is, we found the northerly current. I was pretty worried because the um, current charts had some ripping current from the north um, out wide, which I think we're just on the edge of. We've got about a half a knot drift with the current, and lines are out with the current as well. So don't think anchoring is going to be too good out here. And the lines will be too far out the back, but this drift seems to be working, so I'm pretty stoked with that. And it's tailor made for this spot, too, right on the bearing of this whole ridge line. So we're going all the, all the way down the side of it. I reckon if we could do this one more time and then somewhere else, we might almost be there. I don't want to talk too early, but it seems pretty good. We'll keep at it. Rosie. Rosie Snapper, Goltons, they're all Snapper as well, but Jobfish is just their proper name. Little Rosie, I'd assume. Oh, nut, nah. double header, mate. Look at this. Get the gaff. Bit of bait. How's my aim? Let's see if I can slap someone in the fish. Oh, <laughs> no one near it. A bit out of practice. So, an old sucker. Let him hang around for a minute before we send him back. There we go. Decorations. Here she comes. Oh, oh, it just oh, popped off. It. He's gonna float up that. And Brock's gonna jump in and get him. No, we'll get him with the gaff. <laughs> um, depends how close he floats up. Oh, did he go? He ran away. Oh, bugger. He was floating. Yeah, uh, fish floating up. Oh, he must have kicked away. He looked like he was done. 
Here she comes. A little Rosie fighting the current now too. Yeah. It's picking up already. Yeah, so this is this is like I was saying, this is normal size for these roses. Yeah, starting to float. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah. Oh, that's why. There we go. Step back. Just get it in. Yeah. Nice fish. Good fish. Yep. That one's done. He's just a good goldie. Yep. Oh, swallowed the hook a bit too. Doesn't happen too often. Just gonna knock him on the head before I stick my fingers in his mouth. Got there pretty hard, yeah, you don't gut hook these too often on these hooks. Yeah, staying up now, guys. We'll reset, get back on them, but we'll try and if we move now. We have half a chance of getting away from the sharks. Nearly halfway there. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Yep, hold him there. Nice, nice fish. All right. Uh, just a swim bladder popping. See, so yeah, just the bubbles. Looks like the sharks, so they pop. Always pop right there. All right, let's get back on them. And hopefully, we can get away from the sharks. Oh, they were too bad. Just left a couple. Not a bad first drift. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Um, not sure if mentioned before, we're actually drifting today, not anchoring. So. Um, the reason for that is, um, at the moment we, we're drifting with the current, um, we've got all the lines hanging out with the current, so it helps keep it a little bit straight over. If we anchored up, the lines just would hang out the side even further. So the fact that the boat's moving with the lines keeps them up and down just that little bit more. Um, other than that, anchoring's always best if you can get away with it, because it gets you on the fish and stays on the fish, but um, with the bad current, if it all works, sometimes drifting's the, the go. So yeah, just reset that same drift. I think we got nearly 30 fish off that first drift. So I'll see if they keep biting. If not, we'll try somewhere else. Big amberjack. Oh. Uh, someone's got me over the other side, yeah. I think. And he's off. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Get the guy. <laughs> That's so cool. A little bonito there everywhere. Hey, tomato cod. That's why I felt a bit funny. I'm sure there's some of there, but <laughs> beautiful, mate. Yeah, I'll get some more bait on real quickly for you. Right. No, no, he's actually good. So they don't get, the one we caught before was quite big for a tomato cod. He's about normal for a tomato cod. So very, very good to eat. They just don't get massive. So yeah, so yeah, as soon as that hits the bottom, mate, make sure you, oh, that one's all right. Make sure you're ready. All right. 
tap dancing tuna. Yep. I know your brains are small. There we go. What's that? Uh, Benito. It's like a type of tuna. So, very good bait. On the cods now. This one's a honeycomb cod. So, another one that's, um, they don't get very big, but they are very, very good to eat. So, I'm sure you'll do better, but we'll hang on to them for now. Tomato cod. Thank you. All right, so um, that drift didn't do quite as well, but still got a few nice fish off it, so it was worth it. Just coming to the end of it now. Um, the lines are starting to lag the boat a little bit on the drift, so I'm thinking the undercurrent sort of not as strong as the current on the surface now, so it's probably worth to give it an anchor a go. So we'll do that next and see what the lines do on anchor. So fish seem hungry enough, but so that's pretty good. Here she comes. And it looks red. It is a red, but its size is about there. I'm pretty sure this, this spot's unfished, so. Could be in. Oh. oh, yeah, he's just under. Sorry, mate. You want a photo or anything, or send yeah. him home? I do plan. Oh, I was so used to, and I planned to tag with all, um, all the little ones, but we run out of tags at the moment. Oh. One fish. Bit of thing. Not a gold band. Who needs variety when there's gold band? <laughs> no, beautiful. We got another goldie. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Good job, mate. But yeah, these are... Oh nice. Good sharpie but look at it, big sharpie. Fish. Oh that's a beauty. Good work mate. That's a nice sharpie. That's um so that's not your gold band or your rosy, that's a different one again. Sharp tooth, sharp yeah, and he's a good size for one of them. Hey. Oh yeah, look at that, another one. Well, that's the job fish trifecta then. Rosie Goldie Sharpie. Another honeycomb. This one's a bit bigger, but this one's definitely worth keeping. It's actually quite big for a honeycomb. They go, this is about as big as they get. Yeah. Beautiful mate. Yeah, another little panty. Like I said, these are bonus fish, but so. Yeah. Yeah, very nice to eat. I'm gonna stick him there for a minute, because I've got a fish on mine. Another panty, a few extra fish. Yeah. A few on this side. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go, mate. Oh. Just 
just yeah, drop and wind. <laughs> Fry pan brim. Yeah. So pretty much the way I describe it, they're like your white herring. Nice goldie, mate. Yep. Very nice fish. Awesome. Oh yeah, you don't stick your finger in the mouth, that's for sure. <laughs> Little sharpie. Beautiful thing. Oh, I still got a few more to catch, so. Doubling up. Beautiful. I don't know why I thought it was better. Gold band and a panty. Beautiful. Well, we have bagged out, guys, for your fish. But we'll give it a couple more drops and see what rocks up. Me and Brock, me and Brock are allowed dinner too, so. Sure, you want to give us those little honeycomb? You don't want to catch me, me to catch one. No, no. You've, you've had enough. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get them. I just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't cut people off very often, no, but no. you but you cut off. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, not much bigger. I think the one we got before is probably about as big as they get. Which isn't a whole bunch bigger, yeah. There she is. That is it. Good Goldie. One more drop. One more drop, mate. One more drop. One off the back here, coming up off the back. Big Goldie, mate. And a lizard fish. Plus, yeah, easy. Cool bananas, that. Um, anchor on those, pretty much it was old marks, but I don't think it's been fished before. So I call it a new spot. Nice little show and allowed for what I thought the current was, and I think we got it spot on because the fish bit pretty hard. We were dragging up from the back of the boat, so we were, um, there's a bit of current there. It anchored oh, 40 to 60 metres off the fish waiting for it, which was good. It all seemed to work. Um, job done. Oh, marlin on. Who's doing it? Got tagging it, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so yep. um, pretty much main thing is anywhere along the side of the fish, yep. but ideally just below the dorsal fin yep. on the side of the fish. Don't Shoulder. yep, don't need to stab it, just yep. need to sort of the weight of the pole yep, and a right touch up. more. So yep. alright? So no and uh, Brock's what's going to happen, wind it in. Brock's going to lean forward and grab the line. Once Brock gets it to the side of the boat, just come in the other side of him. Yep. Um, and just the idea is keep the pole pointed at the fish. Yeah. And then when it's close enough, sort of pull back and give it a... All right. Yeah, stop winding, mate. Don't wind onto his hands. Nice and easy on it, Brock. Tagger, get in there. Everyone out the way of the tagger. Get right in there off, off Brock's side. Go around to Brock's side. Yeah. Yeah.
You're right, he'll let go before he goes in. He's green, Brock, so yeah, that's good. Dishwasher. Yeah, um, that favorite way is dishwasher. Rinse yeah. cycle, 30 minutes. Good to go. <laughs> True, is it? Yeah, job is going on. I think we've got a couple of reds out there. Yeah. Yeah, so these are all gold band and there's a curly down the bottom of yeah. the <laughs> Calm down. Nah. He's a pet mate, isn't he? No, no, that one. The other one is. Stephen's brother, that one. <laughs> I do a fair bit out of the work for him down in the back, a little bit of concrete and stuff like that, big plan. Building this massive lawn thing, lawn thing, kind of wall. Seagull, we're sitting down with smoke, all got a pie. And um, one of the boys chucked half, half the pie at this seagull. Yeah, no, they're absolutely delicious. They're absolutely delicious. And then it came back as it was choking. You wouldn't believe it. Was, you it That's how fucking seagulls are. Now, I'll, like, you know, I love birds and all the seagulls and crows. So two birds I want to do. Nah, magpies. I'm going to tag so many times. My teacher lost her eyes to the magpies. Yeah. Too bad. I don't mind. She'd have said that so she could wear an eye patch at school and scare the kids. <laughs> no, no, that's the thing, she didn't have an eye patch. She had like this massive bulge on top of her head. <laughs> um, yeah, as a kid, like, probably one of my favourite memories to get swooped. Like, you should have a favourite memory to get swooped. Yeah. We're down playing like fucking tennis racket. Like, tennis balls and just whacking just random shit down the park in my house. Seagulls, no, seagulls, they're coming in the sweep from my cousin's like, behind you, behind you, I was like, you know what? 
Come in. George. This oh. thing, yo, that was like a night one. It's like flying into the mesh. Yeah. <laughs> Yoink. Yet alone, there's a cool story about um, the guy that used to commercially catch crayfish out of here. Have you heard the story about the crayfish from out of here? No, um, just diving for them in a tinny. What he used to do, he used to have one of the big Queensland gropers, and he'd um, go to a ledge, and this groper would be right next to him, and he'd pull out most of the crays, fill up his tinny, and feed one to the groper. And the groper would swim to the next ledge where all the crays were and show him where the show him where the crays are. So he'd grab a whole bunch, feed the groper one, and the groper would swim to the next ledge. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to find a groper, but we normally there's normally one down in Nalu, different one every year, but it's all red, boy. I don't say the if which is we're all Hold on, hold on. Good day, fellas. Alright, let's be 